Welcome to College Knowledge STEM Edition, where this GCU student teaches you the magic of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics with fun projects you can do at home. So, let's get nerdy. Hello, my fellow scientists. I am Sierra. I am an engineering student at Grand Canyon U University in Arizona. And today, our topic on college knowledge is cybersecurity. So, what is that? Cybersecurity basically is the protection of computers and the data that is on them. So all the stuff that's on your phone, your computer, and all the companies out there who have important stuff on there, they wanna keep that safe from people like hackers and people that wanna steal information in order to help themselves. So today we're gonna to kinda of dig into that and see what we can learn. So first off, how do computers even work? Well, computers have hardware or the things that you can touch, or when you open it up, the things that you can see, the me mechanisms working together, and the software, the programming or code that makes the computer work. It tells the hardware what to do. So today we're gonna be looking at codes and kind of mixing that into our cybersecurity. And so today we're gonna talk about cipher rings. What's a cipher ring? A cipher disk or a cipher wheel is a way that you and I can change coded messages and that's how cybersecurity works. It takes normal words and it codes them or encrypts them or makes them secret and then they send them over to someone else and then they have the key to in order to unsecrify them. <laughs> so today let's start making our cipher wheel. So the first thing you want to do is print out a template. There are ways you can make it by hand, but it's easier to have all the angles line up this way. And the next thing you do is you want to start cutting out your cipher wheels. Make sure to include the little arrow. And by the way, I'll include the template I'm using in the link of this video. Now once you're finished cutting, the next step is to take the large wheel and to start writing the alphabet on it. Now the template I'm using only has 24 spaces, so I deleted the letters K and X. So it's up to you what letters you want to keep, but make sure they're in alphabetical order and you can read them. Once you're done with your large wheel, take your small wheel and write any numbers and letters or symbols you want in any order you want. This is your code or your scramble, and it's how you're keeping your secret messages well secret. Make sure that there's no order or anything at all that makes any sense about it. It's completely random and that's how this code works. So mine is probably gonna look a little bit different than yours, but it's the same concept once I teach you how to use the cipher wheel. When you're done writing on all of your cipher wheels, place the two circles on top of each other and secure them together with a tack. So that way your cipher wheel can rotate and help you start decoding messages. Now we find a code. So as you can see on my paper, our key is 12. So I'm counting over 12 spots from that arrow starting at A and moving the disk over. That will be our secret code. We're ready to start decoding. So here I have a secret message for you and we already know that the key is 12, which is over there down at M. So we're going to start with C and be in look and see, hmm, which letter matches up to the C on the inside circle? And we look and look and we find, it. oh, it's G. So then we put the G down. Next, we look at the Q on our code and find Q, oh, there it is, and we put O. And it keeps going from there. We follow the letter on the inside circle and write the outside circle until we finish our message. So with that, thanks for watching College Knowledge STEM Edition. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And thanks for exploring the world of science with me. Lopes up!